I have arrived, as you can see on the back, this is the Labour Court, where I hope there will be some level of justice. I have been waiting six months to this day and it has been super challenging because I've got no support from the job center for more than 80 months. Yes, I have been food rationing and my ex-employer is deceiving the court and I and it has been a really really tricky situation but I believe that there will be justice today or later on in the future. My lawyer will arrive here at 10.30 a.m. and the hearing is scheduled for 10.40 a.m. So things crossed that everything is going to be okay but I am prepared and aware that it is not going to be an easy task because I have been at this court here, the Abadskarash in Berlin, over 10 times exactly and every single time they stop from the court, try to deceive me, send me the wrong information, they try to slow down the whole case and process and try to make my life much more difficult than it already is. There was an initial meeting that I was cancelled and I was not told about it. So I arrived here and there was no one and no hearing and no meeting. Then there was another meeting which was supposed to be a discussion meeting which that was no outcome whatsoever. So today is the third time that there is a hearing in the court and usually it takes two hearings to get a decision from the Weizkrecht, which is the labor court. So that itself already a sign that the court is not on my side. So I will keep you updated. Obviously, I might be completely wrong. There might be a good decision today, but it's not something that I'm expecting based on all the evidence and all the people that I've spoken with in that court. They have not tried to facilitate the case in my life and on the other hand they try to make the whole entire process more challenging, confusing and bear in mind that I'm not German, I don't speak German well so the least that I expected is that they try to help me out under this extremely COVID-19 pandemic that is destroying with a lot of people's lives but you know I am a warrior and I will fight for my rights until the end so I will keep you informed and keep you updated about every single step of the way because you know until there is no justice there is no peace.